Hello guys, welcome to Space Decoded. Today, okay, so today we are going to build Falcon 1 and launch it in Simple Rockets 2. Okay, so as you all know, Falcon 1 was actually the first rocket of SpaceX which SpaceX ever built. It was one of the most ambitious rocket at that time because it was the first private lo a rocket to launch from a American or any global soil. Okay, so here I was building the circular um, Kerlox tank of the Falcon 1 which was a bit hard or tricky to make but nonetheless it's my task. Okay, so let's have some specs of this Falcon 9. The, there were third, three types of Falcon 9. Merlin 1A, Merlin 1C, Merlin 1C. I mean, few minutes later. Falcon 1, Falcon 1 um, B, I think, and Falcon 1E. Yep, that Falcon 1E never flew up. Okay, so coming to the stages. Merlin 1A or Falcon 1 Primitive had a Merlin 1A Stage 1 engine only one stage engine and in Merlin 1C engine it was in the Falcon 1 which was launched in third launch and the fourth launch um, I mean sorry the Falcon 1E which was planned to be launched after the fifth launch never flew up had also Merlin 1C engine all had the crystal engine at the top of the stage 2 and after that their max height varies a lot 21 meters for the first two launches 22.25 meters for the second and sorry third fourth and fifth launch and the falcon 1e which was never planned to launch i repeat repeat again was 26.83 meter the initial thrust was quite high 318 313433 kilonewtons okay the falcon 1 actually failed as you all know, it failed, literally failed due to um, few leak caused by the corrosion and the you know, salt water of the launch site because it was launched from some, um, what to say, uh, sea shore type thing, yeah. And second launch also failed, third failed, but the Elon Musk never um, gave up. The fourth launch succeeded and that became, I mean, that was the main point, turning point, where Elon became the billionaire. Few minutes later. And got contracts from NASA. Okay, so launch site here. Yeah, we are going to launch Falcon 1 from our Simple Rockets to Junro um, launch site. Yeah. Okay, so here 3. Let me take some pictures so that I could add in thumbnail. Okay. And launch in 3 to 1 left off. We have a left off. It's a nominal trajectory right now. Okay, so let's continue the specs of Falcon 9. I mean, why it failed. I'm currently doing gravity assist role, which is actually I will make a whole new video for this topic gravity assist role. It's the role program that um, rockets generally do to make their orbit circular. Not circular, but uh, see, general funda here is that if you go straight up, you will come down. But if you have some horizontal velocity, you will get that circular path and you will do fall, but never um, fall directly on the earth. You will quite a lot miss the earth. Yeah, that's the point. I oh, know, I should turn down the engines. Yeah. So, engines on again here. And so yeah, second launch failed due to early engine shutdown of second stage and failed to go to orbit. Um, third launch failed due to um, it was unable to compensate the fuel's loss. Uh, and it directly contacted with the first stage interstage after the interstage happened. Now I think here our interstage will happen. Okay, let me plan some maneuvers so that we could get a perfect orbit as I told before. It is due to uh, the gravity assist rule that I have explained before. 
Okay, so fourth and fifth launch succeeded. But after that, as you all know, Falcon 9 came up. The Falcon 1 didn't have any role because the market of rockets came um, and became a hell lot. It spiked at um, millions and trillions of dollars. So here it is our cinematic looking Falcon 1. Okay, so yeah, lots of cinema there. <laughs> now having some interstage and fairing separation so that I could complete my second stage mission. Yeah. Actually, one big thing is here that I landed the second stage of the Falcon 9 also intact on the sea. So it is partially reusable Falcon 1, which was not in that intended to by um, founder of the SpaceX. Yeah. Yeah. A bit tweaks here so to make the orbit a bit more circular. It took me a lot time, not a lot, but at least 13 to 40 seconds for the one to burn to complete to reach the orbit. And after that, it was just a, um, you know, play of time. I just fast forwarded the time. But the real Falcon 9, Falcon 1, sorry, took a lot of time because the time period that it takes from interstage to um, burn of first stage is a lot okay so this was the specs of falcon 1 now let's get to our game where i am trying to locate where is prograde is okay now a bit break here yeah turning the trajectory so i'm um, correcting the trajectory again and I was doing some burns so that I could complete the re-entry of the um, the yes the second stage so that I could get a partial reusable sort of rocket Falcon 1 which is not possible in real life because the effects of this game is a lot different from the real physics if you see heat um, distortion of real physics it says that a uh, metal of iron or aluminum say couldn't resist um temperature of 2000 or 5000 something and here it was a more something a bit more yeah so after that um doing this some burn there were um little tweaks so that there uh the re-entry re would be specifically on the water if Later. If you see, normally the SpaceX second stage are landed on the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, Pacific Ocean, there is a dump point, I think. Dump point, or what to say? Yes, scrapyard of rocket, <laughs> junkyard. So, after doing these burns, I will get. A trajectory a burn started burn ended it was just a few seconds the deorbit one if you did on home and transfer which is on apoapsis that is the toppest point of your trajectory you will get the maximum efficiency because at that point your velocity will be near to zero and reducing the velocity at that point will help a lot instead of reducing velocity at um second point or anything earlier or later yes so yeah doing some burns and fast forwarding some time okay till that time guys just literally tell me have you subscribed my channel if not till now please do it and please like the video because it takes a lot and your support is actually appreciated a lot yes what I am doing right now, I even don't know. <laughs> the time has just stopped for me because I am just thinking how will it re-enter? I mean why isn't it deforming right now? If you see the temperature is lot. A lot. You know. Just see um right now if you will notice there will be some re-entry damage effects. 
yes the red plasma if you generally see the red plasma forms around the shuttle re-entry or any magic or sorry magic not, movies you see on the television or movie so, so there what happens the atmosphere heats up at such a high level where the um Ablative material on the spacecraft melts down and forms a plasma because the spacecraft is moving more than sound of sorry speed of sound that cause the plasma to form. But if you have the pro, uh, proper blunt body shape that is theorized by many scientists, you will help. You will get help of that thermodynamical shape and you will resist the change in your temperature. Because a sheet or a thin layer of um, air forms to protect you, and that air helps a lot because air, as you all know, is a weak conductor of heat. So after completing the burn, I will certainly land up on the specific ocean of this planet, Drew, which is in real life Earth. I don't know if Falcon 1 um, had the same engine configuration that I'm having right now. Certainly not because actually this is um, simple rocket fuel and you can't have the same engine configuration even if you switch the numbers. Yeah. Few minutes later. So yeah, coming down with a velocity of what is the velocity? near 100 near 80 or so because right now um, the velocity matters a lot if you see see I want to explain one more concept right now I will build a video for it the um, concept is retrograde and prograde retrograde is the opposite velocity that you face when you're um, in a trajectory curve or straight line it doesn't matter but retrograde is opposite to the direction of velocity that you're moving on prograde is just moving on your velocity just the direction of the vector of your velocity so now completing the burn i hope so the landing burn and landing would be something successful right now because it is taking a lot of time and if you see generally falcon 9 doesn't take this much of amount of time but the okay i want to take some shots <laughs> yeah some shots here for the thumbnails i know you will get disturbed by this again and again but yeah you could tolerate that yeah okay hit the shot and continue the game <laughs> yeah so jokes aside the configuration of Falcon and oh yes I have landed but I'm in the water I hope so I get up quickly oh ho I have landed the game successfully so guys our motive complete here our motto of this video completes we have built a Falcon 9 Falcon 1 on simple rockets 2 from scratch yeah from scratch and you have got the following information links are all in the description for the information okay so time to bid goodbye so please subscribe to my channel if you're not and please like the video so yeah bye bye for now have fun